Back in high school, the boy I was dating for two years at this point decided to sexually assault me before school in the morning, so I terminated the relationship. He then got a restraining order against me, dropped it once he realized he couldn't pick on me because it goes both ways. I tried to get one. Courts denied it for not enough evidence. He then checked himself into a mental hospital where he met this 19-year-old woman and they decided it would be a good one month anniversary to come to my house. So she's texting me at like seven in the morning and she's, do you know where this guy is? Do you know where he is? He needs help, I need to help him. And I'm like, I don't care. I blocked her right away. I went back to bed. Then there's knocking at the door. So I get up, don't even put pants on, go to the door. There's this blonde girl who needs help, it looks like. So I open the door a little bit. She pushes her way in. And now I'm like, all right, she doesn't need help. It's already posted, I'm sorry. So she's pushed me into my own house at this point now. She is choking me with her nails. I don't know. And she's like, are you Lena? Are you Lena? I was like, no, who the fuck is Lena? Who's that? I've never heard of that person. Then the ex comes in the door frame and I'm like, it's, it's adding up now. It's adding up. So I calmly walk to my bedroom as these two people trail me like ducklings to my bedroom so I can go call 911 because I'm young and I think that's going to help. So they take my phone. So I go to my purse and my ex is like, they're going for their knife. And I was like, no, guys, I promise I'm not. So anyway, I whip out this knife and I'm like, ooh. So she lunges at me because apparently this isn't scary enough. So I eat, eat, eat her in the back a couple times. So she backs off and she goes, just tell, tell them what they need to know so we can go. I'm sorry. Part three. My ex looks at me and he goes, Lena, I loved you. And I was like, so you break into my house? And he was like, well, I don't love you anymore. And I was like, great, get out. And he was, he said, after tonight, you won't see me again. And I was like, the police show up and they asked me if I'm bleeding anywhere. Sadly, I am. I got a little finger crotch scar now. Um, they're investigating my dad's vape juice bottles while I'm bleeding on my kitchen floor. So they get me to the hospital. Give me a good old stitcher up. They find these idiots a couple counties over trying to buy medical supplies in a gas station on their Romeo and Juliet mission to themselves. She served two months in jail. He got 100 hours community service. They had his dad's 9mm on him, multiple drugs, and everything is videoed. I got two 10-year restraining orders on them and BPD. Have you ever had a psychotic ex that you wish had a Google rating or something before you started dating? Well, I have. This girl was 100% bat shit crazy. My parents were going on vacation for a week, so I was like, fuck it, pull up to my crib. Worst mistake of my life, by the way. Everything started off normal. We even planned a date for later that night. I said, you know what, let me go shave so I could look nice. I left my phone in the living room while I was in the bathroom shaving. And apparently, I got a text from a lazy-eyed, big-nosed gorilla. Do you know who Lazy Eye Big Nose Gorilla was? My cousin. My blood cousin. But this girl was not trying to hear it. I said, you know what? I'm going to go back to shave. You do what you want. She said, I'll do the dishes. It's therapeutic. About 15 minutes goes by and the house smells disgusting. So I run to the kitchen and Shorty is taking a shit in the dishwasher. What in the home training is this? Oh, but that's not it. We're dealing with crazy, ladies and gentlemen. There's no time. Follow me for part two. My psychotic ex took a shit in my dishwasher, part two. Let me catch you up to speed if you're new. My ex that has no home training thought I was cheating, but it was my blood cousin. He got mad and took a shit in my dishwasher. I'm looking at her like, honestly, what is your problem? He took me dead in my eyes, closed the dishwasher and let it run. I'm confused as to what I'm supposed to do at this point. I'm pretty sure no one's felt something like this before. You know if you have. I think I need therapy to be all the way honest. Now her shit is in all the cracks and crevices of the dishwasher. You know what? You need to get out of my house, go buy some diapers, take a shit in those too, and wipe it all over your face. Maybe you'll look better. She did not like that one. She gets to throwing glass all over the place. I'm trying to kick her out, but shorty's crazy and I don't want to put my hands on because I am a respectful young man. She ended up leaving after like 30 minutes of arguing and on the way out, I threw a roll of toilet paper at her. I thought maybe she could use it. Revenge is sweet. There's no time, so follow to hear how I got her back. Y'all, what is my life? Okay, so I work with this guy. His, we'll call him Johnny. 
Johnny just moved here and you know he texts me all the time and I'm like okay you know maybe he just needs friends it must be hard to like move during the pandemic whatever I don't really think anything of it like he's cool I genuinely like him he's just like very clingy over text and so I'm talking to him at work the other day and he's like yeah I bet you're a heartbreaker I bet I bet you can't commit I was like yeah yeah <laughs> I don't want to commit like I don't really want a relationship I just don't right now like imagine dating a man that's kind of disgusting so I just don't want to and he tells me he's breaking up with his girlfriend that night he doesn't really tell me why like I'm it's just a little weird so i'm talking to my manager later and he's like oh are you and johnny dating now and i was like what and he's like oh yeah you and johnny johnny said you guys were dating now johnny said what <laughs> and so i'm like um nope we're not so i go up to confront him while he's on his break i'm running out of time part two sorry y'all um part two is now gonna be up this is currently like an ongoing thing in my life so i was trying to get to the end of the story before i told you guys anyway so johnny's on his break and i'm like okay this cannot happen anymore i need to confront him so i go up to him and i'm like hey johnny i was just talking about my manager and he said something kind of weird and johnny was like what like feigning innocence this little <clears throat> i'm like he uh, so did you break up with your girlfriend for me and johnny was like literally i'm not even kidding he was like i don't know should i I was like, mm, no, like, I'll break your heart, like you said, like, I'm a heartbreaker. Trying to let him down easy, but no thank you. Anyways, but since then, he was, like, really weird, but he, that he's been clinging again and, like, just calling me, texting me. He said he wanted to come eat the devil's lettuce with me and my friends, and I was like, mm, I don't know about that. Maybe I will, just for the story, you know? What it's like having a crazy ass ex. So you really gone post you single, huh? Bitch, it's been three months since we talked. Yeah, yeah, it's the desperateness for me. Keisha, you got a whole boyfriend. What the fuck you want? Period. What the fuck does that even mean? It means I'm good on you, love. For months later. On June 20 for last summer, you cheated on me with that I'm blocking you. Girl and what it's like having a crazy ass ex part two. One whole ass year later. I hate you. Okay. I thought you blocked me. I thought I did too. Um hum, if you miss this wop, just say that. Keisha, you hit me with a fucking car. I don't miss you, fuck. She not fucking with me, period. Who, Keisha, what are you talking about? That bad bodied bitch I be seeing you post. My wife. Yeah, she can have you. Bro, what I guess. Can we do it one more time? You're going to hell? Respectfully.